the best part of the race is just getting out on the trail with the dogs and enjoying the scenery and the silence of the wilderness. Watching them perform is always awesome, you know, they're just doing what they love and, and killing it most of the time, so that just is really exciting to be a part of. The Can-Am's known to be a unique race. It's the largest sled dog race east of the Mississippi River. Uh, this will be our 30th running of the Can-Am. What makes Can-Am special is the love of the mushers, actually, and the love of the canine athletes. These mushers come year after year, and they're family to us, and the whole community just loves seeing those faces return year after year. As you see in the map here, the total area of 250 is vast. You're going through a big area. And, and so you need dogs and mushers that knows what they're doing. Uh, and they gotta listen to their, their dogs and uh, they gotta love them and take care of them. This is my first time competing in the Can-Am Crown, and as soon as I knew I wasn't running the Iditarod this year, I was like, all right, finally, I'm, I'm going over there and trying that one out, so I'm excited to be here. What it takes when you go in there is determination and, and, and grit to get it done. The reputation is it's a, it's a tough race, and a race like this, I think you have to be mentally tough, uh, more so than a lot of other races. That's what I really like about this race in general is the main goal is to get the musher across the finish line. You know, if you're slow, it doesn't matter. You know, you just you gotta finish. When we come in, I wanna see the dogs wagging their tails. I wanna see that they're eating their snacks. I wanna see the public being like, wow, this girl likes this stuff. She's passionate. It's like, well, yeah. When we're setting up the race team, we'll put the leaders up front. Those are the smartest dogs. They take command G for right, Ha for left. They drive the pace of the team and, and keep the motivation going. As we get towards the back, those dogs back there are kind of the blockheads. They, they just love to go forward. They're, they're always so much energy and excitement and slamming the line. And, and they usually put in a lot of work and hard pulling. You get them hooked up and they don't care, they're so amped to run and they just take off like a bullet out of the start chute, you know, and I think they they really enjoy this, the excitement of everyone being around and seeing all the people and all the other dogs and stuff. It's, it's a really, really big amped up uh, crazy mess for sure. <laughs> I'm very happy to win the race again this year. Lots of rain and it's tough here. I wish I could run all the legs during the day just to be out here running in the mountains. It's really fun. It's great about the first leg is you get to see all the scenery. Love Fort Kent and what they host here in the community. It's a great dog race. I, I like the trails and I like the country that we're driving our dogs. It's one of the reasons why I come back to Fort Kent as much as I can. I've got a lot of friends out here, a lot of people I know. It's a great community and they take great care of the mushers. And it's also fun to see mushers from the eastern part of the country that are out here. The volunteers, the vets, everybody, competitors as well, they're all just uppity and it's like for as little sleep as we get out there, it's kind of still a cheerful event. <laughs>